Hello, welcome to another episode here at Big Man in the Woods. My name is Mark, your online scout leader, helping you deliver skills for life and practical skills. Now, in this vlog, it's a vlog I've been asked to do. It's the top 10 badges that we can do on Zoom for cubs. And number one is the animal carer badge. Really, really simple one. If you, um, if you have a pet, simple. If you don't, have a rock pet. <laughs> make one, uh, you know, make a sock sock pet or something and they've got to look after it it's not quite the same as a real pet but use a bit of imagination they've got to learn about how to care for that pet where did the animal come from the food the habitat they've got to look after that pet for four weeks four whole weeks they've got to feed it they've got to water it if it's a rabbit they've got to clean a hutch like a hamster get out the straw replace the straw that kind of thing yeah really really simple one the animal care badge right so number two is the artist badge okay so they've got to pick two with two uh, of the following to get the artist badge right so they've got to pick uh, either a character a scene or an event right so like an event could be the dragon to the space rocket going up or what else have we got you know Guy Fawkes they've got to think of a character so whether that's a cartoon character or Charlie Chaplin or they think of a, a scene, so like a forest or mountains or a seaside. And then they've got to just recreate that. They've got to draw it in their own style. So if they're drawing a rocket, they could use a bit, bit of black paper and make some uh, silver paint. I don't know. There's a, the world is their oyster, but they've got to use their imagination. Whether they do it in paint, crayons, uh, mosaic, I don't know. But they've got to recreate an event, a character or a scene. Or they can make a card, make, they could make a pop-up card, a birthday card, uh, come up with a design like, we miss you, send it to their grandparents or a family member um, that they haven't been able to see during lockdown. So making a, coming up with a card. They could come up with a poster. They could put it in their front window about why the next door neighbor or the people down the road should join their cub pack. Yeah, why they love scouting, their top 10 things about scouting. So while we're in lockdown, sell scouting using their front window, their bedroom window, you know, put a poster up there and draw a picture. Maybe they could do what I'm doing now, record a vlog or a podcast about scouting, what they enjoy about scouting, their top 10 things they love about camp, uh, the top 10 things they love about their um, cub pack. There's loads of things that we can do, but it's all about them recording a video or a vlog about scouting. Or they can make a model, recycling, you know, look in the recycling bin, make a rocket, make a sock puppet, make a bag out of an old t-shirt. Oh, there's a lot of things that we can do, but that's what they've got to do in the artist badge. My third recommendation for the top 10 three cub badges that we can do on Zoom is the astronomer badge. So they've got to make or draw the solar system. We're going to learn about those eight planets. We're going to discuss it. Or maybe you can do it on, on Zoom and you put a picture of the planet and they've got to guess what that planet is or make it into a quiz and, you know, who can tell us the planet that has the rings? Which is the planet furthest away from the sun? Make it into a bit of a fun. Let's not, let's not lecture it. Um, have fun on Zoom. Make it interactive. So can you name all those planets? And if you get it first, you'll get more points for your um, for your cub pack. You're going to learn about the difference between a planet and a star. What is the big difference? Do you know the difference? I don't. But let's learn something new. We learn something new every single day. Even as an adult, it's okay to say you don't know. Sun safety. Let's discuss. Really important that we can't stare straight at the sun. The reason why. You know, if you look at the sun, you're going to burn your retina. How is it safe to stare at the sun? Even with sunglasses, it's not a good idea. So sun safety is a really big thing in the astronomer badge. We're going to look at the phases of the moon. So we could talk about it or they could draw it. They can draw it live on Zoom. Let's go and look at the moon outside. Maybe do a live Zoom to the moon and show them the moon right live. You know what I mean? It's all about using technology. They're going to learn about three constellations. Now, I used to know it when I was a cub, but now... Don't know, Big Dipper, um, I can't remember them, but we're gonna learn about it. It's all about learning, isn't it? And that's a really good thing in lockdown. Um, we can learn with the cubs. And like I say, it's okay to say you don't know. Um, so let's learn together those three constellations. And can we point them out in the sky? Um, can we put them on the picture on the screen of Zoom? And we'll look at all those different constellations, but they've got to learn about three and easily identify them. And they've got to learn about a space event. Okay, so they'll learn about the history of space. 
you know, the um, Dragon 2 went up to the, the space station. So let's look at that and how awesome it is. You know, look at Apollo 13, the landing on the moon. Remember all those people that landed on the moon were all scouts. What an awesome badge to teach them that um, if you're a scout, you have the possibility. You might even be the first person to ever go to Mars. It's a stupid thing to think about, but you never know that one of your cubs could be the first person to visit Mars. And you inspired them by doing this space badge during lockdown. All right, number four on the top 10 easy badges to do for cubs is the book reader. Something we should encourage our kids while we're doing it uh, in lockdown at the moment. It's really hard. My kids as well. We're trying to encourage them to read all the time. Very easy just to let them forget. And it's very easy then for they're reading to go downhill. I've noticed that with my daughter. So let's encourage them about making um, reading a fun way. You can get them to list it. You can go around and do a round robin. Their six favorite books. And can they name the authors for all those books? Maybe maybe into a quiz and you, you tell them uh, a book and they've got to name an author or the other way around. You know, uh, we're going to name an author. How many books can you name by Roald Dahl? Um, and then at the end of that, they're going to look at one of those books and write a book review. So the characters, what is the book about, what happens, the ending, and would you recommend it to another cub or another family member to read that book? Number five in the top ten badges to do for cubs on Zoom is the chef badge. They're going to learn about basic safety and hand hygiene, personal hygiene in the kitchen. Why is it important to wash our hands? Why is it important that we use hot water to clean the equipment? So we're going to briefly touch over that. We're going to talk about preparing food, the different colors of the chopping board, what they represent, and the reasons why we use different uh, chopping boards, cross-contamination. Cross They'll know this at school, believe me. But it's just a recap, just to get that gray matter, relearning these things. We're going to talk about the different food groups, so fruits, proteins, carbohydrates, good fats, bad fats, what they mean, what is good for the body. Play a little game, play a little quiz, you know. Let's name four proteins. Can you name four proteins? Is um, a tomato a fruit or a vegetable? You know, that kind of thing. It doesn't have to be lectures of you standing in front of Zoom and just talking. Make it interactive, make it into a game, make it into a quiz. There's loads of resources online. Just giving you some ideas here. Then the last bit in the chef badge is they're going to plan a menu for the whole family. Okay, so they're going to design a start, a main meal, and a dessert. Okay, they've got to think about dietary requirements, religious reasons, medical reasons. You know, is someone lactose intolerant? Um, you know, there's there's many things to think about in a menu. They're going to come up with it. Um, they're going to write down all the equipment, what they're going to need. They're going to list the ingredients, what they're going to need. Yes, yeah? so they might come up with a cake, but how are they going to bake the cake? They're going to use a microwave. Are they going to do a cake in the microwave? They're going to need a mug. Yeah, so they're going to list those equipment. But they're going to then pick one of those menus. Yeah, one of those meals, should I say. Uh, with parental um, supervision, they're going to pick a starter, a main meal or a dessert. They're going to cook it for their family and then they're going to take photos and then use it as evidence to show you, the leader, that they've come up with the meal and how tasty it was. The family are going to rate it and that's the chef badge. Number six is the entertainer. I love this badge. Super fun, super great. Um, so they're going to record a mime, a play, a joke, a song. They're going to record it for their friends and family and then send it to them. Yeah, It's all about making people laugh, being a bit silly having a bit of fun during lockdown they're gonna make a puppet uh they can make a shadow puppet a marionette or something like that to entertain the family they're gonna sing or come up with a play yeah two songs make it up entertain the family do you get the theme of this band it's all about entertainment being a bit silly come up with a song about uh, lockdown about why they love cubs and then record it Play it, maybe even share it on Zoom. You know, have a bit of fun with this badge. Uh, and then maybe they could learn a magic trick. There's so many things you can do with this badge, but it's all about having a bit of fun, uh, sharing it with friends and family, and sharing it with the cub pack. Number seven on the top 10 badges we can do on Zoom for cubs is the global issues. It's a real hot topic at the moment, the global issue badge. So I think it's something that we should really think about. They're going to learn about recycling, okay? So we do recycle a lot of things in my house, but actually, 
is it truly recyclable? You know, some of the plastics aren't recyclable. Some of the things that we do throw away um, can't be recycled. So let's look at the recycling box and see what can be recycled or can't. Let's look about upcycling. Instead of just throwing it in the recycling box, can we reuse it? So you can see in my shed, jam jars. I love jam jars in my shed. You know, these are full of screws and stuff. You know, my kids are using jam jars to make lanterns and then we're sending them to relatives as a present. Let's look about how we're going to reduce energy at home. Yeah, like my kids, they're watching the telly, uh, they're playing the internet, then they go off upstairs playing a game, the TV's still playing, the music is still playing, no one's listening to it, no one's watching it. So it's about just reminding them that that's a wasteful of, of energy. And if we just, you know, leaving the lights on, do we need to leave the lights on upstairs while we're playing downstairs? Just to remind them, it's energy, we're burning it, it's waste. A real cool thing in June is called the 30 Day Wild, okay? It's by the Wildlife Trust. And it's 30 days of looking at wildlife. So every day on social media, we're posting about wildlife, how we're encouraging it into our garden and stuff. So you might not do it for a whole of June, but they could keep a diary for a week. What comes in their garden? Uh, what comes in the balcony? Maybe they're at the park. What wildlife can they see in the park? What trees, plants, and stuff like that. So it's just looking at the environment in a different way. So instead of running to the park and running to play on the swings or whatever, just take a few moments out just to observe where their landscape are. What trees are there? What plants are there? Is there, is there any wildlife, you know? There's uh, many things that we can do to uh, look at our environment and look after it. And that's one of the things on this badge is to look after our environment. Maybe they could tidy their garden, keep the garden, uh, keep it clean for a week, help mum and dad water the plants in the evening, that kind of thing. Appreciate Mother Nature. Um, she, if you appreciate her, she'll look after you. Maybe they could plant a tree or uh, some flowers or build a bug house, make a compost heap. Uh, a mini wildlife pond I don't know it's all about the environment and how we can help the birds and the wildlife come into our garden that will pollinate our flowers and that will help food that kind of thing yeah so that's number seven on the top 10 badges you can do on zoom for cubs number eight on the top 10 badges is local knowledge all right really simple one we can do on zoom we can play a game how many local uh, people in our area in our town are famous can you name 10 people that uh, live in our town who are famous. And then another really fun one is they can look at coats of arms. Does their town, does your town where you live, does your village have a coat of arms? What does it represent? What does it mean? Is there keys on it? Does that mean they were, they were the lock keeper? If you don't have a coat of arms for your town, your cubs are gonna design their own coat of arms. They're gonna draw a map of the area. They're gonna draw a map of the town or village where you live, all those local amenities, places of interest. Is there a castle, a library, a hospital? They're gonna write it on their map and we can compare it to see what the other cubs of the map, what theirs looks like. Because if we live in the same town, surely it should look the same. I guarantee you it's not, it's gonna be different, but it's another fun way of doing the local knowledge badge. Then they're gonna pick a place of interest and write a TripAdvisor comment. So maybe they've been to Windsor Castle or they've been to an attraction in your town where you live, write a little review of what they would write on TripAdvisor. Obviously don't post it, but it's good. Good to think. We're nearly there, the top 10 badges we can do for cubs, but number nine is the personal safety badge. Something that um, I've been doing with my daughter at home, uh, just reminding her about personal safety while we're at home explaining the dangers of many things such as the railway, the roads, uh, building sites, walking on tops of cliffs, canals. We went to the canal the other day and just reminding her that the canal is deep, um, not to walk right next to the canal side, that kind of thing, you know, farmyards, there's engines, there's tractors going up along the road, um, motorways, why it's not a good idea to run on a motorway. Yeah, so it's about personal safety. We're gonna learn a code of conduct. So particularly like maybe like the firework code. Uh, teach them that um, and why it's important that we stick to these codes and why, um, why they're there. We're gonna make our own code, our own safety code. So for instance, it could be, um, thinking off the top of my head, the passenger in the car. So top, top 10 things of what a passenger in a car should always do. They should always wear a seatbelt. They shouldn't distract the driver. They shouldn't play with the radio while we're driving down the road. They shouldn't open the car door, that kind of thing, you know. Uh, we could talk about the internet safety, the top 10 things uh, to stay safe on the internet. Let's discuss stranger danger. 
why we shouldn't talk to strangers down the road. Really simple for me to tell. There's no point in me listing it, but you're going to tell the, the Cubs, play a game, play a quiz uh, on Stranger Danger. Tell them about the amount of options there are um, for personal safety. If they need someone to talk to and they don't feel comfortable talking to a parent or you as a leader or a school teacher, there's there's um, charities out there that can help them, such as Childline. Yeah, there's, It's a free number to call um, and it's... Uh, confidential they're not going to tell the parents and you know i think mental health at the moment in lockdown is really important to stress so telling these um our cubs that there is a safe place to go and talk to people such as childline the samaritans and one really important thing on the personal safety badge that we must really stress um for our our cubs is they've got to learn the home address and the phone number for their parents or guardians we we'll explain why it's really important in case they do get lost, in case they do get hurt um, and they don't have any personal information on them, how the emergency services can get in touch with their parents or whatever like that. So they must learn the home address and the phone numbers of their parents. So the last top 10 badge to do on Zoom for Cubs is the physical badge. So they're going to learn about the sporting attitude. We're going to discuss why uh, in sport, we're going to lose and it's okay to lose. And the reasons you shouldn't go off in a huff. We know what our Cubs are like. They play a game, they lose uh, and they go off and sulk. But why is it good to have that sporting um, attitude that, you know, it's okay. And we're working as a team. It's about working as a team, just like we do in Cubs. Ask them, do you do a sport? Tell us on Zoom. We're going to go around the panel on zoom and tell us the sport that you do if you don't do a sport maybe you like watching a sport what equipment do you need for that sport what are the rules for that sport you know what are the rules for football i'm not a keen football player i don't really like football but it's okay you know hockey do you play hockey what do you want equipment what are the safety rules do you need a helmet so we're going to discuss that kind of thing of the rules and equipment of sport they're going to learn about a new sport or if they're not sporty like me a new skill so maybe they could learn about press-ups yeah can they do 10 press-ups if they can't we could train over the lockdown and we can do one week we can try and do two the next week we'll try and do three same as kick-ups you know can how many kick-ups can you do how many headers can you do can we try and improve that uh, and learn a new skill to help our sporting team. Then the next thing they're gonna do on the physical badge is how do they train to play that sport? If they don't play a sport, how does an athlete train to stay fit and keep going and be mental strong? So it's not all about food, is it? But that plays an important part. We can teach them about food diets. We can teach them about training, regular training, that kind of thing. And if they're not a sporty person like me, it's all about staying safe. So going for a walk around the block, and not just sitting on the sofa, you know. <laughs> it's just thinking outside the box, guys, isn't it? Keeping it simple, while in lockdown, we can still do Cubs on Zoom or any other way on, on the platform, but it's just thinking about what badges can we do? And these are my 10 top suggestions that we can do on Zoom for our Cubs during lockdown. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. If there's a badge that I haven't mentioned that you've done that works really well on Zoom, comment below and I'd love to share that with all the other cub leaders around the UK and, in fact, around the world. Thank you very much for joining me here on Big Man in the Woods. Once again, don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell, and you'll learn all about all the vlogs coming up in the future and my past ones. And click this playlist to see more all about scouting. Till next time, guys. Bye-bye.